Hey everybody, Kaden here, and today I have the Daiso Petite Block Bride and Groom. And the Groom is the first set in the Weddings and Celebration series, and is also mini block number 41. And the Bride is the second set in the series, and is mini block number 40. These are both recommended for ages 12 and up, so let's go ahead and take a look. Alright everybody, so here is the Bride and the Groom. Now, since tomorrow is Valentine's Day, I decided to do a love and a heart themed petite block. And now, you can't just do the Bride and the Groom separately, so you have to build them together, of course, because you can't have the Bride without the Groom, or the Groom without the Bride. Now, one thing that I noticed, which is a little bit weird, um, is that if you look at how they are made here, uh, they have both the same face and as well as both of the same hairstyle. So. Let's go ahead and unbox this, and I'm very curious to see if these are going to look the same or different once we are finished building. So I think I'll go ahead and open up the bride first. And inside of the bag, we of course get our bag of bricks, and as well as our instructions. Let's go ahead and take a look at our instructions here. Alrighty, and at the top of the page here, we have our parts list. And it looks like we can complete this in eight easy steps, and the ninth one is to show that it is finished. And let's go ahead and open up the groom here. And of course, the same as the bride inside of the bag. We get our bags of, or bag of bricks. And we get our instructions here. And it looks like we can complete this in about eight easy steps. And the ninth one is to show that it is finished. So let's go ahead and get building. I think that I'm going to want to go ahead and build the groom first.
All right, everybody, so here is the bride and the groom, and I gotta say, it turned out really, really nicely, and I actually liked how this came together. Now, it may be just a tad bit hard to see on camera, but there actually is a difference, and you can tell them apart uh, from, you know, of course, not only their uh, outfits here, but also there's a slight difference in the hair color, which is good. And also, one thing that I noticed, too, is that her hair is actually up in a bun, while, you know, this one... The groom does not have a bun, and it is a different hairstyle. So it is very, very hard to see on the package there. But in person, it does look a lot, lot better because there is different hairstyle there. And now, this was pretty easy to put together. The one that was the most hardest to put together was the bride here because you had to lay out different pieces. Now, I tried to do a different technique where I pretty much just looked at the instructions and kept putting them on one by one, connecting them instead of laying them out. I found that to be a little bit faster and a little bit easier, uh, but overall the building experience for this was actually really good. It was very easy to do and it was actually fun, uh, but it wasn't too easy to the point where it wasn't like, oh, this is really hard to put together. It was just a nice challenge and it turned out great. Now, let's first look at the details of the groom here. Now, the groom, of course, has his I'm pretty sure this is his tuxedo on. Yeah, his tuxedo on. And he's holding a heart here. And going around, we have more details. And one thing that I did find a little bit annoying is that with his arm here where he's holding the heart, it falls off very easily like that. Uh, but that's just because it's holding on by one stud. And of course, with petite blocks, there's no divider in it like a Lego where it stays put. Uh, one thing I thought was, okay, well, what if we just don't Oops, what if we just put a stud back like this, right, instead of having it hold on by one stud, sorry, broke his arm off there, <clears throat> but then it looks very, very silly like that, his arm looks a little bit more fatter, so I do like their decision in making it so that his arm is not, <laughs> doesn't look too fat, and is actually just holding him on by one stud, because I'll have it on, uh, my display shelf, uh, but a very, very nice and pretty detailed model here. And the next one ha we have is the bride. And the bride has a lot more details, as you can see, has the dress on and is holding the heart right in the middle. There's also some white earrings as well that the bride has, and as well as the flow of the dress is nice as well, almost as like if she is walking. And, uh oh, I just realized something. I have lost it. Or I have lost a piece here, a little elbow. It's probably somewhere around here, but yeah, I instantly lost that. But just imagine there's a little curved elbow piece there. I just noticed that. Oops. Uh, but yeah, really, really nice details there. And the hairstyle is, of course, different with this uh, thing in the top. Sorry, I'm not an expert on this, but I don't know what that is called. And of course, the hairstyle also has her hair up in a bun. And what is really good, the, the most part that I was worried for is that... They would look pretty much identical, but uh, you can definitely tell that they are different based on their hairstyle and as well as their hair color, which is nice. And now at the end, you may have seen where I scoot across all of the pieces. Now, if you're new to my channel, a tradition that I really like to do is with the spare pieces, which there's a multiple number of reasoning of why they have a bunch of spare pieces in your kits. Uh, but I usually like to make fun little accessories or miniature versions of the build that I did. And this one, since it is a wedding, I decided to make a couple little accessories to go along. Now the first one I decided to make was just this small little present here, trying to make it as detailed as possible for <laughs> this scale, but it just goes along nicely. Nice little wedding present there. And also, sort of a cursed looking standing hearts. Now, I try to make this standing so it sort of tilts like that, so it almost looks like a decoration, but of course I had some really wonky colors in here, like this brown and this black, and as well as this skin color here. And also, I decided to make it like this where it can stand because without this sort of support here, uh, it's very, very flimsy at the top and it falls apart easily, and you can even actually move that, but yeah, no, this one was pretty tricky to put together because it kept breaking apart in me, as you can see right there, just holding on by a couple of studs, and so that's why I decided to make it like a standing heart with a support. Uh, was a little bit tricky to put together, but overall I think it goes really nice, 
just a little decoration and a present here and they're off for their wedding and so this was the bride and the groom i really enjoyed it i would definitely for sure recommend this for beginners there was just a little bit of quality control issues on here uh, but other than that a really really nice one and they definitely do look well together and especially in the theme for valentine's day all right, everybody, so this was the Daiso Petite Block Bride and Groom. And I gotta say, this was very, very fun to put together as they weren't too hard and they weren't too easy. So they were right in the middle. I definitely recommend these for beginners. And if you do pick these up, be sure to pick up both of them because they definitely go well and I will be displaying these on my display shelf with them both right next to each other. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. And also have a happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. Make sure to spend time with some family and friends. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.